mornings are usually uh, more stroke work and you kind of get on, you know, perfect technique and then at night you kind of push the pace and try to produce some lactic acid. In Beijing, that was my personal best, but I knew when I swam that swim I could go probably five or ten seconds faster. So I've kind of been chasing that swim ever since. All right, 1650s pull, one to four. I'd like to see four, eight, uh, 12, and 16, under 30. All right, and then just coming back to the couple sets of 50s on pace and 25 fast. It's funny because in retrospect, I, I remember standing on the podium in Beijing and being livid because I didn't think third was good enough. I was disgusted at myself almost because I wanted to be on the top of the podium. I don't think we hear O Canada enough at a major games. 29-2 at 41-42, what's your stroke count? So that's okay. As Canadians, it's it's not, oh, we'll go and we'll hold our flag and you know, we'll be nice. It's, it's, no, we want to fight to the death. October, November this year probably was the hardest I've ever trained anybody in my life, and he answered the bell every day. All right. Good. Good session. Same tonight. Won't be much different, right? Same idea, same level. Go do a good job in the weight room. You give up a lot. You give up a lot socially. You give up a lot when it comes to school. But the rhythm comes from the thousands and thousands of kilometers of swimming that we've done. And we've been doing, you know, between 80 and 100K weeks for eight weeks straight. And that kind of started off our Olympic year this year. And it's a great feeling to know, you know, your body has overcome, you know, such adversity and uh, you're so much better for it. I wouldn't say all the swimmers are doing Pilates. I think uh, it's important for me, especially, you know, my race being 15 minutes long. If you can just, you know, get 1% in your core strength or 1% in your turns, it can make such a difference. When you bring the leg back to kick, you want to recruit your ridge, your abs, and make sure the back isn't recruiting on the kick back. To shave 10 seconds off sounds daunting, and it probably is a bit daunting, but it's an Olympic Games, and when you get onto that level, you can see amazing things from all kinds of athletes, and I just expect that from myself. It's gonna be that much pain, but if you wanna win an Olympic medal, it's what it takes. I think for me, to give your everything is just to put your whole body and soul into what you're doing. My name's Ryan Cochran, and I'll be representing Canada in London.